With cinemas still closed, Australian director Ben Lawrence's much-anticipated Hearts and Bones has been express released to home entertainment platforms and is now available to rent in the Foxtel store. The film centres on the relationship between Dan, Hugo Weaving, a war photographer, and Sebastian, Andrew Lurie, a survivor of unspeakable horrors in war-torn South Sudan. Dan has his own post-traumatic stress to deal with after arriving back from Iraq, only to be confronted by his partner, Josie, Hayley Makalini, with the news that she's pregnant. Dan is not pleased. Dan, this is happening. What's that meant to mean? Dan. Dan! Sebastian works two jobs. He drives a cab by day and works in a hospital laundry at night. He's supporting his wife, Anishka, Baluda Watson, and baby, with another on the way. Sebastian contacts Dan when he learns that Dan is having a photographic exhibition in a few months' time. He wants to stop him showing images of the massacre in his village. And he also wants him to take photos of the choir he's associated with comprised of refugees from various backgrounds. This is a most affecting film, beautifully acted. Baluda Watson is a sensation as Anishka. And Hugo Weaving is just wonderfully nuanced as this man struggling to do the right thing towards Sebastian and his family, as well as by Josie. Director Ben Lawrence has created a really fine film. It's his first dramatic feature after his really excellent documentary, Ghost Hunter. Hearts and Bones is a four and a half star film for me, and it was a real pleasure to catch up with Hugo to find out more about its making. Are you here legally? Of course. I have every citizenship proof. Sorry, it's okay. My passport and my certificate of marriage, my driver license and my tax returns. I understand, it's okay. What if she is alive? How did Hearts and Bones come to you? Well, originally it had come uh, some years before, and um, Ben had I'd, I'd, the script had come through my agency with uh, from Ben, and I'd read it and thought it was actually really interesting, but it was I didn't think it was quite ready. And then three or four years later, it came came again with a with, with a covering letter from Ben and a book of his photographs because he's a photographer himself. Um, and, of course, I knew of him th through uh, Ray Lawrence, his, his father, and I knew that Ben had grown up on film sets, so I knew, you know, films in his blood. Uh, I, I, I read the script again and thought it was really wonderful and, and had just become so much more complex than it had been before in really, really good ways. Now, I mean, thematically, this film, I think, is really important. Was that one of the elements, because it's about refugees yeah. and the trauma of people who come from more torn areas? And yeah. that, you know, I mean, everybody's suffering from PTSD, yeah. you know, really, uh, in the film. Yeah. I mean, was that an element that, that was important to you? Because it says something. Yeah, very much so. You're talking about male trauma as the centre, centre. And so two men are dealing with trauma. That's very much a, the, 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 at the heart of it. The women's roles, they are dealing with trauma as well in their own lives and because of their husbands, but in their own lives as well. So trauma is central to all of those four characters. And the linking trauma between Sebastian um, the the refugee and Dan, the photojournalist, is that they have a common uh, ge geographical trauma. That, that they were both in a particular place in Sudan at, at a particular time. Now I don't. I've never. I haven't seen Andrew Lurie, who yeah. plays Sebastian, before, and or Baluda Watson, yeah. who plays his wife. And I was so impressed by their performances yeah. as well. And, you know, they really bring great heart to this film. Yeah. How was that 
you know, I mean, you didn't, you had, you hadn't worked with them before. No, not at all. Um, no, Sebastian was um, he non-actor, uh, has never acted before, always wanted to, and certainly has a story to tell. And I think this film will kick him. He's already writing an, a film script based on his own experiences, so he's he's going places, you know. Uh, Balude, um, who plays Anishka, who's uh, Sebastian's partner, is an actress. She's originally from America, but she lives in, in Australia. But she's done very little, really, that anyone would, would know of. And so their, their, their acting experience is quite different. And we all had different levels of experience, and yet we all had to be in the same film in a seamless way, in a very open and true way, just interacting with each other. I'm used to working with scripts of course and with thinking about how a narrative is chopped up and shot in different locations different times and trying to keep some sort of thread and control over what i'm doing and yet be free within it as well andrew comes from a totally different experience so yeah it was a big challenge for us to to be in the same place i think but that was exciting does your heart bleed for these little films trying to survive? Yeah, it yeah it does. It's really hard. As I think this is a really beautiful film. I'm very proud of it, and uh, I definitely was very keen to do it. And and the the actual filming of it was a was a real treat. And having seen the film now and taken it to Toronto Film Festival, where it did very well, we had some great screenings there. Sydney Film Festival, a couple of wonderful screenings there. So and Melbourne Film Festival. So I'm I know it's. It's a beautiful film and it and really affects people, gets audiences really involved emotionally. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a cathartic, it's a, it's a, it's a hu very human story.